Okay, now we're back with part three of this series. So far, we've gone ahead and made some pretty cool textures for different parts of this character. We made his little um, alien sack look really stretchy and and very really fleshy. We added some nice shadows, everything. Now we're gonna go ahead and start rendering the rest of this character. Let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm pretty much gonna render this character out the same way we did the rest of it. Now I'm gonna keep the fleshy tones around the little bulbs here just to make sure it looks nice. Kind of whippling around everywhere else. Just kinda of wanna make sure this looks right. Little textures here and there. Trying to make sure it matches pretty nicely with the rest of the character. I'm going on to this one. You can guys can just see how different this artwork looks now with the lighting changing up. You know, just all the, the curvature and everything looks a lot more accentuated. There's adding some more around the arms. Copy of whatever you have there. I kind of just move them around a little bit, make it look like it's really, you know, blurred. And I'm going to start adding something to his chest. As I was saying before about practice, you need to um, practice as if you're taking a test, but for the rest of your life, you know? You just really got to. You gotta love this enough to practice that you could do it every day for the rest of your life. And that's when you'll become good. If you can draw every day for the rest of your life and not feel any kind of angst or like, oh, I hate doing this. If you could do that, you have like 90% of what you need to have already. Putting that little sign there. If you guys know who. That